This playthrough is rated T for Teen. Greetings and salutations, viewers. Valdemar back here with another game from my uh, files, and this time it's Dungeons and Dragons Chronicles of Mystara, the uh, the uh, Steam release version of it, which comes with the two arcade games that Dungeons and Dragons released thanks to Capcom back in the day. Um, I think it was based off the like second edition version of the game, I believe. Oh man, I remember putting some uh, I remember putting some quarters into this game back as a kid, and back when the arcades were a big big deal. Not so much anymore. I think in Japan they're still kind of there. Well, I don't know about at this current time period. But uh, at the time, arcades were everywhere. But yeah, in America, they're almost kind of almost dead for the most part, unless uh, certain cities. And even with uh, the world events that have been going on right now, not so much the case. So, but anyway, I thought it'd be a you know nice little a suitor game to record. Uh, in between some other projects, just to kind of uh, fill out my niche, and I thought yeah, I could play the game, talk about my, well, at least my love of uh, the tabletop game, or just tabletop gaming in general for a long time, but uh, let's start playing, and then we can kind of talk from there, so I guess in this version, you can just kind of uh, uh, start whenever, but let's start the, uh, let's see, uh, oh, we could either do Shadows of Restore or Tower of Doom. I forgot which is first. I think, uh, I think Shadows of Mistara is the first one, I think. <clears throat> yeah, I don't quite remember. Actually, uh, it's been forever. I'm going to start with Shadows of Mistara. <coughs> Ugh, excuse me, for some reason I've got stuff caught in my throat. Let's see. Eh, let's just do... Actually, what would have been the arcade difficulty? Because I know in the... Obviously, in the console version, it's not going to be the same. You know, because the design for that back then was to guzzle quarters from young kids or, or sweet uh, sapling adults, you know. Let's see. Well, Tower of Doom might be first, because I think in the original first game, you couldn't play as, like, the thief. Um, well, I'm going to... If I die, I'll just play as all the characters, but my favorite character's got to be the wizard. Two years have passed since the Battle of Sable Tower. After defeating the Arch Lich Damos, oh, we, uh, hold on. Nope, we've, uh, I need to back out. Tower of Doom must be first because, uh, this is talking about a game we haven't even played yet. Okay, so we do want to play Tower of Doom first. Well, there you go. <coughs> Sorry. <laughs> Man, I keep, uh, hacking up stuff. Alright, let's try this again. The adventure begins. Your journey to defeat the evil Damos begins. Yeah, let's start the actual first game this time, shall we? All right, anyway, I mean, I will just do Apprentice. There we go. Yeah, the original game, you can only play as, like, the fighter, cleric, dwarf, and elf. Usually when I played, I play as the cleric because, you know, usually everyone loves the heal bot. Um, I do like the elf because she can use some magic. I'll probably end up playing as all of them over, overall, like, when I die. So, um, you know, we'll start with the cleric and kind of go from there. Yeah! <laughs> so you leave in the morning. Well, then, register your name. I don't even know if I can put my full name in, or at least to... With this. Probably not. I'll just put, like, Ball, or at least until, uh... I think you can get pretty far. I'm surprised with the... Valdemar. Yeah, that'll work. Oh, unless it... Oh, no, yeah, it just it goes, uh... Valdima, I guess? Sure. I am the cleric. Please help us! You hear screams from up ahead. Ah, uh, good old mace. Yep, if you're you're not a cleric unless you put a, I think that's a mace. I'm, you know what? I'm I'm not as familiar with uh with uh, medieval uh, weaponry. So, hmm, a book. Okay. I don't know what that does. <clears throat> I think they're supposed to be the instructions. All right, I just gotta get used to the controller. So, okay, so I'm using a PS4 controller for this. So X is attack. Oh yeah, we got your standard kobolds. Um, looks like these are based. Uh, well, these look like more goblinoids, or because <clears throat> uh, kobolds used to be more dog-based, and then the later versions of the game they turned into more um, dragon lizard-based uh, creatures. But yeah, they're pretty. The, kobolds are kind of the uh, 
Well, I don't know if I call them the super default um, monster, but they're pretty they're pretty on there. Yeah, I'm not starting out pretty good so far. Uh, yeah, kobolds are kind of the default creature, one of the more weaker creatures of the game. Uh, these guys are gnolls. Um, they're a little bit on the next step of different. Oh, I didn't even know I had uh, stunned you already. Yeah, in this game, sometimes you can stun the um, enemies. Okay, let's see. Oh, I didn't even get to the treasure chest. A wooden man uh, approached you. Help us! Uh, okay, some are heading for the mountains, but others are gathering an attack on the town. That first part went by way too fast. What should we do? Oh, yeah, in this game, you could choose to, uh, um, how you wanted to go about uh, the story. You know, it just means different encounters. So let's go to town to help them out. <clears throat> the town is under siege. Many of her defenders have fallen to the monster's onslaught. Help! Help, Help us! We're under attack! Help! And more kobolds. <laughs> Anyone can be... Hey, did that guy just... He was making fun of me. Okay, and this... Anyway, the X's uh, attack circle is jump. Uh, triangle... Or, sorry. Square is, like, item use. And then uh, triangle is which item or spell you want to use. So, um, might turn out, actually, it might say striking for the, oh, the ring is a magic missile ring, okay. Yeah, we got, let's uh, save for hammers for now, and then we'll kind of go from there. Hammers, uh, you saw me use it earlier, it just, uh, no parking. <laughs> okay. Uh, <clears throat> I really don't think I'll have to use any items against, well, okay. I was about to say, don't use, oh, I died. I didn't think my health was that low. Huh. Okay, you press the... Uh, Oh, I guess you stick with that class, huh? Okay. Well, that's fine. I don't mind uh, playing the cleric throughout the rest of the game. Not a good start to get killed already. <coughs> ah! Dang it! I think there's a way to block if I recall, but I don't remember. I think you have to hold down... Yeah. You hold down the attack and back up is how you block. Okay. Yeah, I got... I mean, I can't believe I lost so much life already. What's the bracelet do? Anything? Oh, I can heal. Hold on. Actually, do I have the heal spell? No, I don't. I could swear you can heal in this game. Maybe I need to find a uh, help wanted Shady Dragon in. Well, let's go see what's inside. Uh oh, looks like some gnolls are causing some trouble. It's uh, we. Well, you're supposed to kind of uh. Ah. You're supposed to use kind of the. Oh. I gotta be careful. Otherwise, they'll start stunning me. Ah. Ah, dang it! Did I die again already? Man, see, talk about a. I told you it was a. It was a. Uh, um, oh, the game tells me how many quarters I would have used since I'm playing the console version of this or PC version. You know what I mean? Okay, that's the healing potion. I think that automatically heals you, if I recall. Um, I think, and I think books are supposed to be spells. I think. Oh, I can't pick up daggers. That must be for the fighter or something like that. I know there are certain items that are designated to certain classes in this game. Like, uh, the cleric will get certain items or spells. Oh, looks like we got an ogre. Ah! Okay. Yeah, ogre leader. Okay, let's use... Actually, let's see if old person works on you. Oh, it does work on the boss. Huh, nice. <coughs> Whoops, I didn't mean to use it. And turn undead, we don't need that, so... Striking gives me a bit of uh, extra damage with my weapon. <coughs> so I'll help on bosses. <coughs> Actually, let's use the magic missile ring. Most people get... It's just, yeah, just a blast of magic. I use magic missile! Yeah, the bosses like using block, huh? Yes, we'll help you. Calm down, you're distracting me. Actually, realistically, if we were playing real D&D, &D, I wouldn't be fighting this guy by myself. I'd have, like, a whole group of people. But, uh, this game, you kind of... Well, I mean, you can't play with multiple people. I think the game is, story-wise, is designed that you're, um... Whoops. I mean, uh, it's designed with a... a story-wise, I assume it uh, assumes all the party members are helping you, like, all four characters. Like, if we were doing a story reason. We... We uh, drove the monsters away from the town. Too bad I didn't find a key to unlock that chest. Yeah, sometimes in certain maps, if you do specific things or go to specific places, you can find, like, um, keys that will let you unlock certain chests, which give you, like, health potions. Thank you for rescuing our town and save us all. 
Please, please accept this as a small token of our gratitude. It's said to have magical power. I use a mace, good lady. You discovered that the weapon is deemed magical. It will increase your attacking power. Oh, it's for all of us. If you gave a sword, I'm like, I'm the cl Well, actually, technically a cleric, I think, can use a sword. But most clerics tend to use, uh, grab a... Here's where we can buy, like, uh... If we're weak on, um, uh, HP, we can buy some healing. Um, uh, oil's not too bad if you're finding, like, trolls and stuff like that. Um, uh, yeah, I guess we'll just buy another thing. And then we move out. The creatures that attack in Fort Kruth is said to control illusions. Hmm, perhaps a wizard or some sort? If you take the main road, you better be on guard for those monsters. Yeah, you can spend your money in uh, in between. Uh, on the road to Darukin City, the heart of the Republic, you leave town and head for the city of Darukin. Monsters prowl the re main road. Yeah, we gotta defend ourselves. Let's see what this says. Darukin. Well, oh, all right. Um, what was I gonna say? Uh, let's see. Oh, whoops! Dang it! There goes twenty silver. Some spells will be replenished after. Sometimes we get new spells, and sometimes some spells will replenish after after a. Uh, um, a level restarts, so it just depends. Uh, usually, the, I think the elf would usually get... I think the fighter and elf usually use the bow, I think, if I recall. Owlbears! The most uh, weird thing... Uh, apparently, at least according to D&D, most owlbears are created with scientific mate wizards. You know, that can't leave well enough nature alone, so they have to start mixing up uh, owls and bears together. And apparently in some uh, lore, you know, depending on which world of D&D you play in, whether it be Greyhawk or whatever, they can actually re reproduce too. So some crazy wizard one of these things to prowl on. I think in the story it said a uh, a crazy wizard did this, not like a sensible wizard created owlbears. But it depends on which world you're playing in. Yeah, for some reason I could have swore the cleric got a healing spell. Maybe that's in the second game. Because that would make the... You hear a moan from the thicket. Aw, don't have... I, I don't want to. I don't want to deal with your sex stuff. There. Oh, or someone's getting attacked. Hey, come on, get away from that man. Poor guy. What happened here? Help us! It was part. Of, I was part of a control of Fort Kruth. We were hunting the beast. We were attacked by it. By now, it might be attacking the fort itself. That sucks for you, dude. But now what should you do? Hurry on to Derek and City to see if they can send help. Go to Fort Kruth and try to save them by yourself. Either one's a viable option. Let's try to be let's try to be the true adventurer. Let's try to do it ourselves, even though technically we should probably get help. Fort Kruth. Hmm. Yeah, just the cleric. I can heal all of you. We set some traps with monsters in the fort. Be sure to watch out for them. Oh good. Alright, stop screaming, cleric. Jeez. I don't even know what the cleric's actual name is in canon, so... Oh. Uh, yeah, let's go forward. Alright. Ooh, we're close to now. See if we can break in anything inside. Ooh. Hello. I forgot what that was supposed to do anything. Oh, well, there's some gnolls in Ah. Um, actually... You guys keep giving me trouble. I might as well use my spells before I die. Yeah, I just gotta figure out the pattern, because there are people who have been able to beat these games in, like, without dying, or at least, or at least using very few continues. You just kind of have to, uh, ooh, HP. Hold person scroll, nice. Yeah, I don't remember, I could have swore this, like, opened up a passageway if you pushed in the right direction or something. Oh, there we go, okay. Let's see where this takes us. Oh, somewhere. Uh, oh, out. Well, they did, they did say wait for trap, uh, they just said watch out for the trap, so... Uh, what's that? Continue light. What does that do? Does it blind them? In the well, I mean, that's not what continue light is actually supposed to do. But I'm sure, why not? Ah, oh, I died. Dang it! All right. All right, three. That's three continues. I would have worried. Well, depending on what uh, what arcade you played this at, it would have either been a quarter or fifty cents per game. If you were lucky, it was only a quarter per game, but it depends on, like I said, the arcade or how the arcade set the uh, set it up. And stupid traps. Oh. Anyway, in the original game, Continue Light, all it was supposed to do was give you a uh, ability to cast light on an item, and it would never wear out. 
it was just supposed to always go, so you get to have a permanent light source, you know. Must gather all the silver. Oh, is that all? Huh. I guess that's all those in here. Okay. Um, you can't run in this game. You just double tap forward. Yeah, some rooms in the, these games are uh, um, that as is. That's all it is. So let's see what's in here. Uh, book. Hmm. I guess it just gives you experience because it doesn't allow me to read it or anything like that. Oh, and I wonder if we went upstairs, we would have ended up down here anyway. So another way to go. Fireball rake, huh? Nice. Right, let's see which one opens up this passageway. Ah, skeletons. Oh, good. Uh, now I can use. Do I have turning up? Turn undead. Oh, it takes a while to activate, huh? I, I forgot about that. Okay, well, let's try this again. Yeah, depending on uh, in D and D, depending on the strength of your cl cl cleric, you could. Uh, ah, that's the problem with turn undead. It kills him, but uh, it takes a hot minute. Um, depending on the power of your cleric, Turn of Dead can actually either make them run away to turn them, you know, or it can uh, completely destroy them, which I guess in this case, my, uh, apparently my cleric is high enough level to just straight up destroy undead. Do they just keep coming back, or am I just, uh, no, I guess there's just a lot of them. That kind of makes, uh, yeah, it kind of makes the uh, cleric kind of OP, really, at least when it comes to dead. Yeah, sure, it, uh, it takes a while to activate, but... This can save you from some HP. Yeah, back. Oh, huh, it's not, did it activate the? Maybe it activated the skeletons because it didn't do anything. Either that or I can't go in this one. Huh? No, oh, well, I don't know. Oh, and I guess I can't go. Ooh, hello. What's this? Can I flip that? There we. Oh, okay. There we go. Another secret uh, place. No fairy. Oh. Okay. Um. It's pro I'm probably going to get killed. Oh, yeah, I should show... Well, I'll save it for the boss of this place. Um, oh, I can't even... Well, what was the point of that if I can't even... Uh, huh. I don't know. I don't remember... I don't remember a lot of stuff in this game. It's been for, like, years. I think the last time I played this game was at the arcade. Well, with two creatures cast but one shadow, aim for the shadow. That's where the creature crew is. Oh, I know what this is, even before actually playing it. A displacer beast. Yeah, these things are nasty. All right, you. Ah, yeah, it's like a panther thing with like tentacles on it. It can. Uh, yeah, all that does is it summons snakes. <laughs> well, it's just like the just like Moses against uh, Ramses or whatever. Okay, let's try. Uh, oh, ow. Ah, dang it. I was. I was well, that's a. Uh, oh, sorry. It shows like the the creature when you. Uh, uh, let's try whole person on him. See how that works, if it works on this boss. Sometimes whole person won't work. It it depends on if they in the in the game. It's usually either certain enemies are immune to it, or um, uh, or they'll they'll resist the spell via like a will save or something like that. I wonder if he can be blinded. Oh, he can't. Well, at least he can be blinded. Although I only get like one shot in them. I don't remember this fight being too nasty. You just you just gotta know when to to stand in between their attacks and smack when you do. Yep. Actually, let's get the striking spell up so we can do some more damage. I mean, if you're playing the elf, most of her spells are like attacking spells, so she can cast like uh, fireball, magic missile, um, and the fighter and dwarf are your clear melee uh, classes. Which, interestingly enough, back in the day, I think it was first edition of D&D, &D, um, dwarf, uh, um, certain races were actually classes. So you play the dwarf class instead of just the race. So the dwarf, and so the dwarf race would have specific, uh, oh, he's biting me. He's biting me! All right, well, I'm gonna send sticks to snakes on you. So take that, just because. They could be poisonous. Nah, I'm dead. What is that, five continues now? Man. Yeah, I would have spent like maybe two bucks by now or something, or three bucks or something like that. I gotta mark how how badly the. Because I don't I don't remember D Dungeons and Dragons the arcade game being that cheap of a game when it, like when it comes to like. Because a lot of arcade games would be designed to like basically uh, snap your quarters for the arcade or whatever, so. This is before obviously the advent of. Con ah, jeez. 
And I said this guy wasn't that hard. And, you know, whoops, I exiled the whole person again. Because that doesn't work in the Space Beast. Get a good, uh, well, at least it gave me a good like couple of attacks on him. Now let's cast Strike again, again so we can get that. I don't remember if the bosses in the game have particular weaknesses or not. Oh, nice. All right, let's grab that, whatever that scroll said. I don't know what it said. It didn't pop up on my thing, so. You defeated the beast and rescued the fort all by ourselves. I might be taking the short route in the game, because I know some quests extend the game a little bit longer than, than would, but I don't remember all of them. Are you having dinner at the inn? And then a stranger comes up and begins to talk to you. My lord Corwin Linton, master of the city of Athenos, wishes to speak with you. He would have you come to the sea after those to meet with him. Well, finally being rewarded for a ninth level. Wow, we're uh, depending. If you're in second edition, you we should have already had our castle or 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 a place of uh, ownership by that point and a bunch of minions. But uh, I'm not sure if this is based on second edition or third edition DD. I think it's second edition. I could be wrong though. Uh, yeah, might, I mean, really, might as well spend your money on on uh, really on health healing. For the most part, so that's usually why I ended up doing half the time. I've also heard that some adventurers saved one of my lord's caravans. I doubt it. Oh, so you're the heroes I've heard so much about. Tell me some more. I, uh, okay, let's skip that rather quickly. Corwin has arranged for a ship to carry you to Athenos by way of the Steel Streel River. Streel. Oh, of course not. Lords of the Abyss, we're surrounded. They're trying to swamp us. Swamp us. Uh oh, lizardmen or troglodytes. Yeah, either one. Same thing. No, uh, they're not the same thing, but still. Uh, could it could have been worse. Could have been swogging. The swogging have found me. Oh, they could poison you, or at least do. Uh, well, I don't know if they can. I don't think poison is an actual uh, thing in the game, but I think they can throw a. Uh, got quite a bit of a uh, defense too. Uh, you're not dead, so keep the whole uh, hold person spell up just in case. Wow, I've already ah, jeez. I think the cleric works a lot better as a support like character for a group of, of people playing the arcade game more than a. Uh, if you're playing by yourself, you almost want to play more the fighter or the dwarf. Um, it's been forever since I played the original edition of D&D, so I don't remember how the dwarf class actually worked. Um, let's see, what's this? Oh, more six to six. I don't know if that is a permanent increase when you grab the scrolls, or if it's just during this that one this one character before he dies. Man, you guys. I guess in this game, the, their breath paralyzes us or stuns us or something. What is he saying? Something to shadows? Ah, dang it! Should just cast hold person. On. Oh well. Yeah, it's six uh, six quarters, or or three bucks, depending on if you had that. I wonder if I can kind of stun lock him. Mean, I think you can, maybe if you're. Ah. Something that epic shadow or out thick shadow or something. I don't know. Oh my god! Stop! Stop jumping around! I wanna I wanna beat you. I, need, I really need to learn to block better. It's a feature in the game, but I'm not utilizing as well as I should. Okay, that gets you a potion. How many keys do I have? Or oh, uh, boot. What the boots do? Boots of speed. Nice. Oh wow, they make me go faster. Nice. That's like a mid-game uh, magic item right there. Usually it takes you. A while. Well, actually, actually no. Uh, in second edition, I think. Well, in second edition, being able to go really fast was good and bad. Good if you're the one getting this. Well, in second edition, if you ca if someone cast haste on you. You get to like go, you know, super fast, do multiple actions, stuff like that. But in second edition, the spell would uh, uh, take away like a year of your life. Yeah. Second edition. Oh, whoops. I didn't actually didn't mean to. Yeah, I didn't think. Uh, I didn't think the undead was a. Uh, oh, there we go. Let's see if I'm gonna time to. Because those guys, they are ghouls. So, yeah, you want to get rid of those guys. Um, yeah, that's whole person. You. You're gonna. You're annoying. Ah, oh, he was almost dead. But yeah, those things were ghouls. Ghouls are pretty nasty. They can paralyze you with a, a, a 
with a bite, so they're they're bad for low level players to encounter. If you're a higher level player, they're not as bad because you usually kind of ha you have pretty good resistance against paralyzation. All right, I need a oh uh, magic missile ring. Nice. I usually save that stuff for the bosses. Although I think uh, spells t look like spells kind of respawn when you die, but it looks like I think magic items don't. I think I mean obviously if I had it in my inventory before I died, I'd keep it. But but like if you use it and you die, you don't get it again. So then again, I mean it's not like there's really the fact that I can basically put in any quarters I want kind of almost reduces any sort of major challenge in the game. But uh, you know try to. You know, try to get a good record of anything, just to say, oh, how many coins does it take me to beat uh, Death of Dragons? But yeah, I've seen, I've, I've heard of people being able to beat this within like a couple. Of, uh, ah, the boots of speed have been damaged. Dang it! Oh well, it means they don't work anymore. Although, it, unless, well, let's see. I think in second edition you could get magic items could get uh, destroyed if they get hit by either magic or or certain spells or something like that. Uh, but usually, nine times out of ten, your spells didn't really get destroyed, unless you had a really dickish DM who wanted to uh, <laughs> who wanted to mess with you. You know, it's like, oh, you have too many powerful items. Well, I'm gonna go and get, get rid of them. Oh, it looks like the snakes attack them while they're on the ground. I think there's also, yeah, I was about to say, I think there was like uh, charging attacks in this game too. Let's see, because you can. Oh well. All right. Are we at boss time? Uh oh, it's a troll. In a second edition, trolls could uh, had a, a ri ridiculously good healing. Um, uh, uh, yeah. Had ridiculously good healing. Um, so because so even if they died, oh there we go. See, yeah, he looks at you. He's like hungry, smell food. But uh, so if you didn't hit them with like fire or um, certain. Um, Spell. I think it was like fire and acid, depending on the troll, anyway. Uh, if you didn't hit him with fire or something like that, they'd always regenerate, even after dying. So they were a pretty pretty nasty cu customer. Yeah, if you use fire, well, I think that, that can happen to you too, but yeah, certain characters react to certain items more than others. Alright, I need to start a. I know. Once, one magic missile. Yeah, I just might as well just start using my spells since I'm probably gonna die. Oh, now I have cure wounds. I wonder if I can, I don't think I can flatten some, can I? Nah, he's immune to it. Alright, let's get a striking. So can uh, I hold you? He might be too strong. Yeah. Ow! Stop biting me. But yeah, now I have a... Uh, I must have I must add the... Uh... By the way, if you're a cleric, you work, you're cure like wounds are like... Like at the be at the very beginning of the class, so don't let this game think you that you have to get like ninth level to get cure light wounds, you know. Yeah, most of these spells don't work, so I'll have to resort to uh Dang it, he keeps like cheaping me. And died twice against the uh, uh troll. He's the troll leader, huh? Yeah, trolls are pretty pretty nasty in uh, D D. Well it depends on which version of D D. Ooh, I didn't know I could open that. Uh, try uh, dang it. You don't want to get too close to that. Oh, that's so cheap. Yeah, it looks like he backs off of you using oil. So it's probably a way to, like, uh, kind of, um, uh, uh, control it. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna cure wounds again. You can actually cure wounds if you, uh, if you get next to another player. Um, wow, that didn't heal me very much at all. Um, but yeah, if you uh, if you you have to highlight the spell and be like right next to a player, and you can uh, heal uh, other players if you want. Of course, at this level, ow! Come on, three quarters against this guy. Man, tells you how cheap he is. You defeat the troll now without the power of magic and quarters. Uh oh, all oh, right. I should have uh, used an oil on him. Whoops. Oh well. I wonder if it would have let me. I think the game's supposed to. I think we are supposed to fight him twice. I could be wrong though. Although I think if you. Uh, maybe the thing is, if you have oil, you can basically kill him then, then and there. If you don't have oil for some. Oh, there you go. 
He almost got you. Don't you know you have to, to burn a troll to finish it off? Well, I know that. I played D&D before. Jerks. You managed to make your way to the city, Athenos. Mm -hmm. Oh, he's level 10. Yeah, 1 HP. That sounds about right for D&D. After you hit a certain level, um, HP gains are pretty minimal. Oh, sorry. Since the last th uh, Thelmont, a great dragon from the swamp has... Uh, blah, blah. Uh, can you defeat this dragon? Can we defeat this dragon and help the, these people with their with their dragon issue? Find out next time in the next episode of Dungeons and Dragons Tower of Doom. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you next time. Well spoken. Your fighting skill must be wonderful. Behold.